Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can utilize the merge function so that you can create join between two tables. So generally we have uh, multiple data sets from which we want to either find common rows or we want to find left join or right join based on our requirement and it's pretty easy to do it in the SQL as most of you have have already done it in the SQL and uh, here we will see how we can do a similar kind of functionality either natural join which is intersection or left join right join or full join uh, based on the uh, two data sets that we have in place so for this example uh, I will create uh, some data set from our main data set which is empty cars having uh, the car related in cars and their respective properties so the first data set maybe I can create is uh, all those values or all those cars which are having the gear more than or equal to 4 or maybe equal to 4. So let's see uh, the first data set which is empty cars underscore or maybe I can simply put cars underscore 4G which is 4 gear car and we want empty cars and we need to specify the property so the property is that we want all the rows and within the column which is uh, empty cards dollar so we want basically the rows so empty cards dollar um, here is uh, equal to equal to four and we want all the columns so if I see cars underscore four G, sorry, four gears, then I have all the cars which are of four gears. Similarly, uh, let's say I want I want to create a second data set for all those cars which are having an MPG of uh, greater than or equal to twenty five. So cars underscore MPG score twenty five. Then I would say empty cards again it's dollar mpg greater than equals to 25 and all the columns so now if I see cards underscore mpg underscore 25 here I have the cards which are greater than 25 now let's do a simple merge without specifying any parameter merge and then we are saying cards underscore 4g 4g yeah and cars score mpg score 25 what ideally it will give is the intersection of these two data sets that means the common rows from these two data sets if i hit enter you will see that there are only uh, four cars which are having the gear 4 and mpg of greater than or equal to 25 so i think these are the cars which which is meeting the criteria and that's what we have got uh, as a part of intersection or a natural join well there are other options uh, by which you can specify whether you want a right join or a left join in that case you need to give a parameter to do the merge command or the merge function so the first thing is uh, we want this two data set and the command is all and what we want to say all is equals to true so that means we want the full join that means both the tables should be joined irrespective of any condition so if that is the case this is your basically a um, full outer join you can say you have created but if you want right outer join or left outer join then the condition is a little bit different if you want a left outer join then the first value let's say first data set let's say x and the right or the second data set let's say y so whatever coming on the left hand side is basically an x whatever coming on the right hand side is on the y so if we want left outer join we want we will need to specify all dot x so this this will say that you want a left outer join if i do that i will get the values which are matching the left outer join criteria and if i need uh, right outer join then I need to specify all dot y 
that will give me the right auto join. That means all the values from the right table, which is the second table, and the matching rows from the uh, first table. So if I enter this, that is what I get, and uh, based on the criteria that I have specified. So these are the uh, joins conditions I wanted to show you in this video, and uh, I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.